please read this disclaimer carefully before proceeding further. Welcome traders to analysis of DXY dollar index. My name is Vic. Thanks for joining me here. Let's see what kind of opportunities we have on dollar. So last time what we were looking at was that market was falling down and we were expecting it to come to this water um, wave right here. And right now if you see what a wave is acting as a support and the market tried to go beyond it but got supported here so what we need to do is make sure that you know this uh, month we we monitor this around this area around this water wave because if it actually closes below this then we have um, a kind of like in a scenario where it can go even beyond that somewhere around to 88 level which can be like you know the previous support or structure level around here so that is a possibility if it actually closes below this water wave. If it if it closes be, uh, above water wave, then there is a good possibility that next candle is going to be bullish candle. That means the next month of uh, month of June is going to be a bullish candle, and that's what we need if we want to like you know see dollar to go upwards. And upper target in that case will be somewhere around here um, in this one this line which is water water curve here. So the market is expect, expected to reach there. And in that process, as you can see, the market will create a kind of W pattern here. And once the W pattern completes, we will look for short positions once again. So in other words, what we are looking for is actually a kind of like in a confirmation somewhere around here before we can start to look for a long position. But it all depends on how it actually behaves at this level right where it is right now which is near about 90 level and 90 is a psychological number it's a round number it's a psychological number so we need to be very very careful with dxy around this area so that is what we have on monthly let's go to the weekly time frame on weekly time frame we had a very good short trade coming from here this was the um, this was the um, signal that was given by water uh, so we had um, red arrow here and this is the profit target and market has reached that very nicely last week and as soon as it hit the water target it started to go up and this candle has formed now a lot of a lot of traders will treat this as like you know as a, as kind of like an inverted hammer or sort of thing and that is that is fine it is it can be like that but we'll have to wait for another week so next week is going to be the decision making week for um, dollar index because if we see good momentum going upside that can be a good indication that market wants to go higher and create that w pattern that we are expecting if the market actually starts to like you know, struggle a bit or like you know starts to go down strongly then we may see like you know the break of this structure or retest of this particular structure which is going to be near about um, this area so let me actually quickly put uh, that line here um, so that you can see what I mean by that so this can be the retest of that if the market starts to struggle or suddenly starts to tank so that's what we can have so that's uh, a weekly time frame on monthly time frame this is also an important area so I'll mark that in here so that is 90.187 and on the lower time frame obviously the previous structure level which is 89.161 is an important one let's go to the daily time frame on daily time frame we still have this profit target open because we had this short signal like you know um, which was given and now this is the open target here but for that to happen this 90.187 has to be broken properly right enough you know, but as you can see right now the market has started to like you know go bullish so here we have red and here we have blue that basically means that market is in sideways or it is it is in confusion and that is why i'm saying like you know the next week we'll have to monitor it if it starts to go below this if it starts to close below this level then we can see that you know the market may fall down to like you know reach this profit target here and uh, let me show you what this level is so i'll put a line here so that we can mark your own charts with this and by the way these are all coming from water and besides system um, this is the stop loss and this is the entry and this is the profit target here and what how do we read this is by basically simply following the color of it so red means bearish blue or green means bullish as simple as that so this is bearish scenario long-term bearish a uh, long-term uh, bearish here 
and uh, we have bearish scenario but we have a confusion there is a mismatch between this color red color and blue color that is why this is sideways and we need to be careful in this market okay let's go to the four hour time frame what we have there is that we had a good short scenario here good short signal given uh, to us um, and this was red that means bearish this was bearish and this reached profit target very nicely this was a good signal and the market fell down so again going back to the same old point like you know, this has been a lot of confusion sort of area the consolidation area so the market could be like you know hitting the bottom of this or even going beyond this so we what we need to do is we need to monitor it for some time i'm expecting it to fall down why because on other pairs there is a still possibility of them going a little bit higher that means the dxy can actually fall down at least for a little bit um, before it can start to make up its mind that it wants to go higher so let's go to the uh, 30 minutes time frame. On 30 minutes time frame, we still have this uh, um, short target open, which is 90.239. And I think like, you know, that is going to be very reachable. So 90.23 and 90.187, I think that can be reached very easily. If I go to 15 minutes time frame, there is no profit target left. That's the one, last one which was there. So if I go back to the daily time frame, these, these are all the levels that we have um, present. Uh, 90.239, 90.187, 89.314, 89.161. So these are all the levels that you should be watching on dollar index um, because dollar is right now it is in bearish mode. As you can see, everything is red. This is red, this is red, this is red. That means it is still falling. But um, there is a good zone which is coming up right there. Um, you see that previous demand zone is right there. So it could be coming back into the zone and going back up. And looking at the candlestick pattern, it may or may not be bullish seen. So we'll have to like you know see how it actually like you know starts to behave next week. So next week, next week it's going to be little little hazy to start with. Um, so we'll have to see how it actually like you know behaves and closes next week. And based on that, we will probably have like in a better direction, sense of direction. If I go to our charts, the market was supposed to let me actually go to daily time frame uh, and uh, reset this okay and now going to four hour okay so this is what we were looking right so we were looking at this scenario here where market started to go from a higher from fcp zone which was very nice we we caught like you know very straight on dxy and other currency pairs based on that and then when it reached this particular level which was the second target uh 90.852 uh, we were expecting a kind of like you know confirmation beyond that which we never got market was never able to break through this properly and never gave us proper confirmation and besides that this pink line this 90.796 that was an important one and hence the market started to go down and it is still falling down if i go to the lower time frame i'll show you a, um, a pattern which actually evolved and this usually happens around moving averages right so this is the pattern that we had um, not sure whether you trade this but this is kind of diamond pattern and this is usually a sign of like in you know, a reversal so the market created this diamond pattern and then started to go down so the went up diamond pattern and it was expected to fall down and that is why this is falling down and the water also showed you the same thing now for us in fcp methodology uh, this these patterns actually do not matter much because we always treat everything as wnm patterns so if i draw fibonacci on this where is my toolbar okay if i draw fibonacci on this then what i have is that market has come to 38.2 that means the market can fall to near about where is it um, it can fall near about this particular area uh, where it is right now or in extended case it can fall to this particular zone okay so you'll have to be careful with this because the market can actually fall into this oops, sorry uh, can fall into this um, into this zone okay so you have to be careful if the market reaches this zone then we can look for a good buy opportunity but we'll have to be careful because as i said like you know previously what i is also showing that you know there are, there can be a retest of the previous fcp zone which is below here right there okay so let me just quickly bring this here this is fcp zone and we have fcp zone here and now we also have an fcp zone approximately around here so that's what we have on dxy um 
hope you enjoyed this found this useful in-depth analysis if you did show some gratitude show some support um, to this um, video this analysis uh, hit the like button put in a comment below this video so as to like you know make sure that it helps with uh, youtube or other algorithms and also share it with other traders and other, other trading communities because they are going to also benefit from this analysis okay have a good uh, trading week next week and i'll see you in the next video thank you if you are interested in learning how to analyze the markets the way I do using Fibonacci Confluence, then head over to Vikinsa.com and under training section you will be able to see Core Strategy Training Program. On this page you will be able to see the testimonials of previous students and also uh, look at the brochure. The brochure has a lot more information including the course structure and the Fibonacci Confluence Training Program curriculum. This is a very extensive program in which we cover basic core Fibonacci concepts along with the advanced concepts to analyze the markets with high probability. If you are interested in joining this program, come to vacancer.com and under training section you will be able to see and submit this form.